Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Yesterday afternoon at about 4.02 p.m. there in Guatemala, there was a magnitude 6.4 earthquake. It was deep. 156 miles below sea level or 252 kilometers in depth. Uh, 50 people reportedly said they felt it there uh, to USGS. It was felt over a very large area. You can see it here. Belize, it was felt all the way up there. And over here by um, Oaxaca. And uh, let's see. Um, Velo Cruz. As far south as where? Let's bring this out. Um, Honduras. San Salvador. Oh, we got Nicaragua too. Okay. USGS gave it an intensity level of five, meaning it was felt by most people. There was some breakage of dishes, windows would have been broken, plaster, cracks in the wall, and disturbance of tall objects. This area is dominated by two major faults, um, Polica and Managua. And the earthquake was right in the middle between the two faults. What we got going on here is the North American plate um, slowly going towards the west. And we have the Caribbean plate uh, moving towards um, probably uh, the north. I tried to draw out the little arrow so you could see them. This was a thrust earthquake, which means tension has built. And there is a possibility of a large earthquake. Um, back in 1816, there was a 7.6. Let's see, 1975, there was a 7.5 along this fault zones. Um, yeah, there was on, over 23,000 people that died from the earthquake in 1975. And as I said, this was a thrust earthquake. Kind of looks like the North American plate trying to move going west and it got stuck. You can see here where it got stuck and the other side of the fault line um, rose up. Yeah, yeah, didn't move. Kind of like a loggerhead. Here is some of the felt reports that were sent in to EMSC. This one said it was a strong tremor. They were 60 kilometers southeast. That would be about 37 miles um, southeast or 60 kilometers. Another one uh, said that their chandelier was swaying and they slightly felt the movement about the same distance. This one here said it lasted a long time. Um, let's bring this down here. A somewhat prolonged, albeit slow, um, squatting was felt. Nearby animals noticed it too. Something was heard in the distance. Okay, that one was where? Um, close to the same distance, different city. Let's see, strong and long. Um, felt like it was two waves, about 15 seconds or so each. Another one said it was large. Uh, noticed it because I was resting. It was long though. Um, that was also in Guatemala. Uh, one of the longest ones I've ever felt. Not so strong, but long. Let's see. The lamps and the portraits on the walls moved. It was somewhat long, but not very strong. That was in Guatemala City. Another one. On the 24th floor of a new building in Zone 11, Guatemala City. City. Penthouse was moving. Probably about 18 inches. Oh my goodness. And it's a new building. Side to side. The pool on the roof of the building next to us had waves in it. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, this area is 
capable of very large earthquakes, and luckily this one was very deep. If it had been shallow, yeah, the death and the destruction would have been tremendous. Let's see. Another one from Guatemala City, a little shake felt, and water movement. Um, it felt so long. It was about 30 seconds. Um, pretty strong. Um, Canton, San Antonio. Am I pronouncing that right? In Holy Key Freedom, the Savior. Um, something strong and rocking. Okay, this one was a lot farther away. 220, no, 232 kilometers southeast. So that would be a little bit more than 144 miles. Nueve um, San Salvador. It says quite strong. I had to go out of my room. I felt dizzy. And the moment was like, was like oscillating. I could hear how the ceiling moved. I wonder what kind of building they're in. Um, felt in El Salvador. Let's see. Another one says they felt it in El Salvador. Let's see. Um, gave them quite a scare there in El Salvador. No, Arizona. Honduras. Excuse me. Okay. Slight movement. Barely noticeable. That was in Mexico. Another one from Nicaragua. A solid downward movement. Yeah. Okay, Nicaragua is... Let's go to the map. All right, let's go to the felt map. And here we got a downward movement. Hmm. And this is what they got for the moment tensor ball. Another interesting post says that in San Miguel, Mexico, um, the seismic alarm was sounded. Wow. Okay. Um, another one from Mexico. Short swaying. I guess because it lasted so long, they sent out the alarm. Um, I was sitting on the bed and felt it shake. And he continued shaking for quite a few seconds. So it sounds like from the descriptions that fault probably uh, ruptured quite a ways. Um, USGS doesn't have anything about the distance on here. Once in a while they'll have the distance and probable rupture. They do have peak ground acceleration um, up to a thousand miles away. And this is what? Looks like about five to six hundred miles. Let me see if I can get this to to show. I wonder if any geologists went out there. It'd be interesting to know how much of the fault may have opened up or tried to move. Being so deep, it's probably very hard for them to tell. But be aware, um, yeah, it's a thrust earthquake, which means tension has built. And there will probably be lots of aftershocks, I am sure. And another large earthquake, hopefully not larger. But this area of Guatemala does have a history of large earthquakes and lots of deaths, like in 1975. Now that one was at 301. Um p.m. I believe local time and it was shallow uh, only five kilometers or three miles in depth yeah 23,000 people were killed and approximately 76,000 were injured and many thousands of people were left homeless kind of a wake-up call a warning um, because this was so deep yeah luckily it wasn't um, very shallow did you feel it? How did your animals react? Did you have damage? Um, do you have friends there? And did they report to you of the damage? Are they prepared for a large earthquake? Boy, I hope so. Please share that information. Thank you for watching. And be prepared. I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.